Hello and welcome to Funk, Furman University's daily news show. Today is Wednesday, September 12, 2018. I'm Nick. And I'm Yvonne. In today's news, in their latest trip to the Atacama Trench, one of the deepest points in the Pacific Ocean, a team of scientists have discovered three new species of elusive snailfish. The newly discovered species have temporarily been named the pink, blue, and purple Atacama snailfish. The weather for today will feature scattered thunderstorms with a high of 85 and a low of 72. Furman Anime Club and the Furman Library invite you to the Library Room 043 this Friday from 2.30 to 5 to see Daft Punk's anime movie, Interstellar 555. At 5 p.m. on the second and fourth Sundays of each month starting in September, Daniel Memorial Chapel will host its Encounter Creative Arts Worship Service for seekers, skeptics, the faithful, and the not-so-faithful. Stop by to learn about encountering God through ritual and creative expression. It's always been a mess to try and write home, but your family loves it. Stop by downstairs in Trone to APO's table between 12 and 2 o'clock for their event, Send a Card. Fill out your address and a short note and we'll get a firm and postcard to your family. Tell your mom you're safe from Florence today. Go check out the new semester-long exhibit, Furman's Legacy of Slavery, upstairs in the library. Yes, there's a second floor. The themes, artifacts, and documents displayed are based on research conducted by the Task Force on Slavery and Justice. Take an immediate right after entrance into the library to get to the elevator. Furman football's first home game of the season start, starts Saturday. Um, the Paladins will look to take home a win against the visiting Colgate at 1. The game will also air on ESPN3. Go to Yount's Conference Center, located on the south side of campus near the basketball stadium, at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 13th, for a CLP event, third in the Riley Institute's three-part series, Who Gets to Be American? Immigration and the Fight for America's Future, presented in partnership with the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at Furman. Staring Down Fate is an award-winning documentary which tells the story of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's 30-year effort to save the Red Wolf. A CLP showing the film will be on Thursday, September 13th at 7 p.m. in the Patrick Lecture Hall. Interested in supporting Furman Athletics? Women's Soccer looks to take home a victory against the College of Charleston tomorrow at 7 p.m. Furman Women's Volleyball will play Appalachian State tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. and Winthrop on Friday, September 14th at 7 p.m. Volleyball games are held at the Alley Gym near the baseball stadium on the south side of campus. Ever wonder how they get the pizza, burgers, and Mongolian stir-fry out in the DH every day? Chris Harris of Bon Appetit takes us behind the scenes of Furman's Dining Hall. Hi, I'm Chris Harris. I'm the Director of Operations here for Bon Appetit at Furman. Uh, welcome to the kitchen. Back here. Alright, so now we're going to come into the main hub in the kitchen here. This is our dry storage area. This is where we hold all of our dry goods, spices, oils, and you can see we have gluten free shelves here. On any given lunch, this would be just one pasta. Lunch, then dinner, right? So on any given day, we go through about eight to ten bags. Yeah. So now we're coming into the main part of the kitchen where all the production is going on. This is uh, Christina, she's one of our wonderful chefs here. She makes all of your composed salads. She's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. 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 Kind of like a back line here, so we have some ice machines here. We store some of our farm produce. Start walking. Uh, food. This is just for produce. These are our big stock kettles, right? This is where we make all of our stocks and our soups. We're doing macaroni and cheese, we'll make it in here. Here we're actually making a 
making a bolognese sauce right here for pasta for catering. So when you're cooking for 20 people, you can use a pot. When you're cooking for 600 people, you use one of those. We like to call the hot tub. This is our dish area, this is where all the magic happens. Right back here. Uh, normally it takes about six to eight people per shift to keep up with the plates that you guys are bringing back. President Jer, our catering crew, Dynamic Duo. This is our dairy coolers. T-shirt. We've our milks and cheeses. Everybody says that we have powder eggs, we don't. Okay. So this is kind of like our segregated meat area. So this is here. This is Cordell right here. This is our meat master. We came back to making the marinade for our chicken. Come back into the pizza and pasta station. This is Marlene, she makes really good pizzas. Sanders over here, she makes all of our pasta, she's our pasta wizard. The one side has its own little kitchen as well, so they can do it on a couple of times. Well, seeing all that food being prepared is making me hungry. Except everything's closed and all I have is one lonely bag of Doritos in my room. And that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, can'tstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and to watch all of our previous episodes. Remember to submit to our social media spotlight with the hashtag can'tstopthefunk to see your submissions on the show. Have a great Zom Gedalia and tune in tomorrow for our next episode.